It's a third home game in a week for Dulwich Hamlet tonight as they take on Crystal Palace on the 23s. The Hamlet were beaten last time out against Hampton and Richmond Borough with Preston Edwards having a superb evening between the sticks. They bring back Michael Chambers, Gavin Tomlin and Demibi DeMarco to the starting 11. Palace are no strangers to this ground having played their home matches at Champion Hill last season and amongst their lineup is Luke Dreyer who netted when the two sides last met. The two sides played out an entertaining 2-2 draw when they played here 12 months ago. Will the fans be treated to another enjoyable evening this time around? First uh, test for the Hamlet defence in this evening's game. It comes, it's well dealt with by Achenpong. Commanding header in there. Here's uh, Hungbo, long range effort. Spilled by Edwards, but took the sting out of the shot so it didn't rebound anywhere. Could cause him some problems. The senior player in this side takes it short. Lokilo. Go to the area, Boateng, through to Much, and all the way through it goes, and Dulwich concede early on. Jordan Much curling across Preston Edwards, and in the fifth minute, it's the away side who lead, and Dulwich fall behind the pre-season game yet again. They work the corner short, Boateng eventually playing it through to Much. Got it into his left foot, just uh, curled it around Edwards. Little he could have done there, and into the far corner it goes. Here's the in-swinger by Much. Comfortable for Carew. Good distance on his clearance. Green will look to put Lemeca under pressure. Green early balls on for DeMarca here. Can he get the better of Brown? Yes, he can. DeMarca's in. And will equalise for Dulwich. Into the far corner it goes. And maybe DeMarca continues his fine form in pre-season with uh, his third goal of it. Well found out by uh, Nathan Green. DeMarca beat Tyler Brown to the ball, drew the goalkeeper, and once it's lost it past him, it seems like an age before finding its way into the far corner. But Dulwich responds after 13 minutes, 1-1. May be fortunate to uh, not be penalised for a handball. I think it would have been pretty harsh had he been. Kargbo, Tomlin, take the ball, go a couple of strides as well, chips it through to DeMarca, excellent first touch. Good save, fine save by Dion Henry, strong hands from him. To Marker again, can't return the ball to Gavin Tomlin. Hungbo down the line, Action Pong gets the better of Coker. Skips away from Carew, come to Dreyer. To Marker wins it back, Kargbo, Kotoy. Looks out, Green wasn't on the left as he anticipated. Tomlin through to Carew, onto his left foot, Ashley Carew for 2-1. And Dulwich go from a goal down to leading, another fine move from them. Ashley Carew on his weaker foot scores his first goal of pre-season. Dulwich have been uh, playing some good football so far. Rewarded with a second goal in the uh, 24th minute. Tomlin just slipped it through to him. Maybe stuck under his feet a little, so he got it onto his left foot. And fires it in the bottom corner to give Dulwich a lead. Tomlin made a great run. Cargbo will use him now. He's onside, Gavin Tomlin, edge of the area. Sends it in. Oh, that's a great ball and well defended as well. DeMarco was ready to pounce. Tomlin couldn't poke it on for Clunis. Much came back to defend. Dulwich seems to get into the second ball very quickly. DeMarco, Tomlin. DeMarco was fouled off there. It's come for Clunis. Blocked by the keeper. Back to Clunis. Put behind by Brown. Just floats it in. Henry got a punch and that under pressure from DeMarco. I think that was his job there to be DeMarco. Not a good clearance by March. Lazy. Tomlin. On for Clunis. Fine save but it's near post. Tipped away from another corner. Lovely ball by Tomlin there. The no-look pass. Chambers finds Anthony Achenpong. One centre back to another. Kotoy. It's over Tomlin. Nodded down for Jordan Much. Away from Kargbo, it's four up in this attack, it's Boateng in possession, back to Much, he lets it go, saved by Edwards to deny Coker. And it's uh, a free kick for Dulwich. They begin the season like this, it'll be uh, pretty frightening for teams they play in the uh, Isthmian Premier Division. DeMarco I thought was fantastic in particular in that first half, heads that down for Tomlin and DeMarco will give chase. Has he got the better of Tavares? Yes he has. Goes for goal early on, smart save by Henry. 
Just wondering whether DeMarco maybe, if he'd uh, seen Gavin Tomlin to his right, could have pulled it back to him. I can imagine he'll be starting that day. He'll be picking himself from the start, Peter Adeni. He'll enjoy that one. Cotoy does well. Carew flicks it over the top. Tomlin's in behind. Burns his opportunity, though. Not a clean connection from Gavin Tomlin. You'd uh, have put a lot of money on him hitting the back of the net there. Swung in by the club captain, nodded away. Only reached Gavin Tomlin, edge of the area. Beanie again. Doesn't go for the left foot across, finds Tomlin instead. Might deflect for Green, it does. Lovely Cruyff turn. Green and fired into the arms of the goalkeeper. Got down well there. Dion Henry. Exquisite turn from Nathan Green. Nick Tavares. Tyler Brown on the far side. Laid off by Fundy for McGregor. Daly now. And again, James Daly. Is there an end product for him? Surging run. Taken on Quade Taylor. Does pull it back into a good area. What a save by Edwards. That's a fine stop by Press Edwards. Hasn't had much to do tonight. Make sure he stands tall to deny Keon Flanagan there when uh, he had to deal with something. Good cutback from Daly. It was a nice run. In comes the corner. Well, it looked like a foul there. And again, Edwards with a save. Two in a matter of moments from Preston Edwards, and this time it's the keeper out, Sam Woods. Trying to be quiet, Edwards. Berkeley saw him off his line, but the keeper back pedals, and another smart stop from him. Turnish defence breached. Haven't happened, uh, hasn't happened often tonight. Hussain. Lovely interchange. Is there a chance for Hussain? Yes, there is. Holds off Ming. Might have taken too long, though, they have. Daly's won a corner. The chance was there for Hussain. Deflected through for Flanagan. Heavy touch. Weatherstone intervenes. Laid off by Kotoy. Vandia has got Maskell to his left and plays him in. Maskell. There is a cutback by Asi Yardem. Couldn't swing his foot all the way around and it'll roll away for a goal kick. Knock. Brown. Gamirez does well there. And Dulwich Hamlet get their first win of the pre-season 2017. They've beaten Crystal Palace under 23s by two goals to one. The three goals all came in the first half. Jordan Much putting Palace ahead inside uh, the opening five minutes, curling an effort past Preston Edwards after a short corner routine. Back Dulwich came, they grew into that first half and played some outstanding football going forward. Maybe DeMarco was released by Nathan Green. He slotted under Dion Henry to give them uh, the equaliser for Ashley Carew cut inside and uh, with his left foot fired into the bottom corner. That was the three goals scored in the first 24 minutes. In the second half, Dulwich began brightly. Henry made a few good saves to keep out uh, Green and DeMarco before Preston Edwards was given a bit of a workout in the final five minutes from Palace, repelling three uh, shots with uh, some pretty good saves. So Palace beaten this, e this evening here at Champion Hill. Dulwich with their first win of the new season. Final score at Champion Hill is Dulwich Hamlet 2, Crystal Palace under 23s 1. Gav, last week you said this was the game to judge the fitness on. You must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, very pleased. I thought we um, worked really hard today. Um, <clears throat> went through the pain barrier individually and collectively. Um, showed some nice touches, some nice football um, in the last third. And made it a competitive fixture. I think we looked fairly sharp today. Um, everyone was pressing well. Everyone looked fit. So yeah, it was good to kind of get a performance where everyone was fairly you know, on, on their game. Collectively, that was probably the nearest to the performances we had at the end of last season as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, again, will not get too carried away. Um, he's playing against a professional team. They have um, good habits. They want to play football um, all the way through the pitch. Uh, in our league, that ain't going to happen. So we have to um, be aware of adjusting to different types of football. But um, no, for tonight, uh, we did exactly what we should do. Um, we worked hard, we were physical, and we tried to pass the ball well. The build-up play was good today. I think we... We felt on the same wavelength today. Me and Gav felt good today. The midfielder pressing well, like finding us, 
the defence were fine in the midfield. Yeah, it seemed, to, it seemed to click a bit more today, so that was good. Really good pace to your attacks in the build-ups there as well. It wasn't really very sluggish play. No, definitely. Uh, exciting exciting uh, play um, on the front foot, like I say. Uh, Nyron joining in really well. Gavin and Didi uh, doing well. And Ashley uh, and Green as well. So I thought that those guys um, contributed really well uh, to our attacks. Yeah. You're uh, looking pretty sharp. Yeah, yeah, just same as everyone really, putting in the effort. Um, using the games to get our fitness up, really. Um, and today was a good test, so yeah. I think we all just tried to give it our best today and yeah, see where we go. Second half of last season, Didi struggled with his injury, didn't he? But hampered him, sort of couldn't really get back in the team afterwards, but he's looked really sharp in pre-season and he's taken his chances. He has, he has. Um, Didi's worked really hard. Um, he's listened to what we want him to do. He's showed a good ability. He's expressed himself. And he scored goals. Well, there's not much more you want from him. Um, if we can keep him fit and strong, he's going to be a threat in this league. Um, he made a great impression when he first came for a good two, three months. And then, as you say, he got a, a few niggling injuries. But, um, yeah, good lad. Um, always, always listens and, you know, like the abilities there. As a striker, how important is it for these pre-season games for you to get a few goals under your belt heading into the new season? Yeah, it's always good. Um, like I said, I guess we just use the pre-season games to, to get the most we can. And if we can carry on scoring now, we can get enough, get enough goals now, get enough goals during the season. I think the whole team is you know, looking forward to that. Four games left. Have you hit that benchmark? You've got to stay at the same level for the last four games? It depends. It depends what you know. We need to give people minutes still. Um, you can't rely on 11 players. So um, for me, I, I think we've got an idea of what we'd do from the start of the season if we had everyone fit. Um, as long as I can keep them fit, whether it be on the training floor, it's not all about the games. The, the games <coughs> is uh, the 12th of August, and that's when we need to be ready. It was good to win today after a few losses under the belt. Um, and we wanted to put that right. We need to get into good habits. So yeah, good to, good to get a win under the belt, and that should continue, hopefully.